Mmh. Est-ce que c'est bien vert le... Ah. Oui, ouais. c'est vert. Je laisse comme ça. Ok. Tant qu'à faire. <rire> Okay. Well, hi everyone. Uh, we are Christophe, which is a maintainer of uh, Cozy application, and I'm Roman. I work for Cozy, and uh, you have here our uh, GitHub and Twitter handles if you want to find us there. So, uh, who here doesn't know anything about Cozy? Okay, so I'm going to start uh, first. Uh, what it is? And then I will explain um, or talk more today. So uh, you have the address, it's cozy.io. It's an open source personal cloud platform. What does it mean as a platform? That's the uh, aim for us is to have some basic application pre installed, so um, contacts, uh, calendar, files. But more importantly, the fact that developers can develop applications for it, install more applications, and make more applications. And currently, it's a beta software. And so today we are going to argue about the fact that um, the web should actually be more centralized. And sorry, that's <laughs> not the idea, but the idea is that today you have your data that are everywhere. So some of your data is at Facebook, some of your data is at Google, or maybe for everyone here, but um, most people are like that. And so we argue that we should bring Before we can use it, we should bring our data back in one place. All the data of one person should be in one person computer and one person cloud computer. So, step one, you want your, you, you want your data back in your Cozy Cloud server, your own server, which is yours. Uh, if you want to do that, uh, there is already an, app, an application which, is, uh, which you can install on your uh, Cozy Cloud server which is made for that. So I will show it to you fast. Okay. Here is a, a Cozy server, the, the web interface. You have the my account uh, application with a list here with all the what we, what we call uh, connectors to uh, many, many different type of data. You have uh, You have, uh, you can get your bills from uh, different service, services. You can get your uh, bank accounts. You can get your podcast. You can get uh, whatever your your Facebook events. Uh, I don't know, uh, and uh, and some other things. Uh, also, your health data. Same. So, but. Uh, There are, uh, I suppose now there are uh, 50 uh, connectors. That's, that's okay, but there are many, many more uh, services. So uh, you have a problem. You have, you don't have your, uh, you don't have your, um, you don't have your data. You, you, the connector for your data doesn't exist. What can you do? Um, okay, that's it. <laughs> So you can do something. The only skill you need to have is a little bit of JavaScript. So no, not, uh, you don't need to know all about JavaScript, but a little bit of JavaScript, a little bit of jQuery, and you can do something. All you have to do is uh, write uh, a single JavaScript file. And the my account uh, application already does the boring stuff for you. So uh, it can... Uh, The my, uh, the my account application uh, can ask for you, uh, to the user, uh, your login. So if I show it to you, one account for... Oops. Okay. Voilà. It can ask your email, your password, and you don't want to uh, develop uh, for each connector a web interface to ask uh, those uh, kind of, of things. So the my account helps you to do that. You just have to declare, just have to declare uh, in your JavaScript file the list of fields you need, and 
you declare the name of the connector, uh, eventually a, a link, and the, and the different data. So, uh, if you want to write your connector, imagine the, the target of your connector offers you an API. Then you're lucky, because uh, it's quite rare that the web services allow you to, to get their data. Uh, at the moment, it's uh, approximately 5% uh, of the connector which uh, use uh, an API. So, if you're not lucky, you will have to do web scraping. So, uh, web scraping is uh, simulating a web browser and, uh, and uh, try to pick the data that interest you. For that, you have some uh, NPM uh, some NPM packages, which are JavaScript packages, to help you. You have request, request well, request promise, which will uh, help you to get data from the web uh, in the form of uh, an HTML page, page, and the Cheerio, uh, Cheerio uh, package, which will pass the HTML page and uh, let you, with some uh, jQuery selectors, uh, select the data you're interested in. Um, so, here's an example of, uh, of, uh, of a connector. It's just a small part, because I couldn't uh, show all the code, but uh, that's the part which uh, logins, which log in to the, the web services and uh, display the, the data you want. But you have after to pass it and get your data. So here, you, you request, it's an example for uh, Huber, actually. It uh, it's, uh, displays a login page. You get it as a body, you get an HTML string. You pass it with Cheerio. And this allows you to get the, the token, which will be used by uh, Uber to authenticate your, uh, your, uh, your request. After that, you can do another request to, to uh, then display the page that uh, interests you, which uh, in this case displays all the, um, the list of uh, Uber bills that you want to check. And, uh, and that's all. After that, you're okay. You can, do, you, you can get your, uh, your data. So once you have your data back uh, into your own server, uh, the common question is, what do I do with it now? Because, OK, it's cool. I got all my builds back into my file system. I got uh, the events uh, into my calendar from Facebook. I got some information. But the problem is that you, well, we can do more. We can not only just retrieve all the data from the user, but once all the data of a user are at the same place, are centralized into the user's own personal cloud, we can uh, make an app to use them. To now that all the data are here, if we can access them as easily and without having to do the complicated OS with every services for even services that propose OS, we can bring it back in a single place and do a simple application. So, because the application, our web page, very simple, uh, going to do it very fast. So you have um, uh, HTML pages, you have a package for JSON with some explanation. Most importantly in this, uh, which is a manifest of the application, most importantly in the manifest of an application is the permission, which means to get back control of your data, it means when you install an application on your cozy, the same that when you install it on a smartphone, the application needs to ask for permission, which um, um, is better than the alternative would be that uh, anything I put on my computer, for example, with a Linux computer, unless you do very strict uh, LXC or um, control of permission, the application can access every file which is not what you want. You want it to access only what it needs to work, same as a smartphone. So quickly, we can... So this is a to-do application, which uh, retrieves um, all the to-do, if you show them. But more interestingly, is that now that we've brought back the user's data, 
So in this case, the uh, bill we brought back from Uber or from Trainline, we can add us a to do to well. This invoice we want uh, we want to invoice it to our company. We want to send it. Uh, we want to pay it or so. On. And so we can very easily access the data we just brought back from Connector and uh, use it in our current application. And so the previous function was bringing back the bill we just brought back from Connectors. We want to um, we fetch it and then we use it to create a to do, for instance. Ça, on peut le montrer dans les démos. Ouais. Ok. And so, for instance, in the to-do application, we get back the, um, we can create a to-do to pay the last bill we received from uh, from connector. So. So in conclusion, uh, you can help us to uh, develop new uh, new connectors. So uh, if you don't know uh, a lot about the, the COSI infrastructure, you can even just write a single JavaScript file which uh, gets the data and output it in the console, and you can come uh, come to us to in the forum where you have the you have the address, to uh, and we can help you to uh, finish your, your connectors. So. <coughs> There is a lot of people to, to help you for that, in French and in English. So, well. and uh, and you can also, of course, if you have a little bit more skills, you can even develop your own application, which is, as you saw, uh, only a single, um, just a, a single static application. So, uh, help us. We need your help. <laughs> That's all. If you have a question. Questions from the crowd? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is there a Selfish OS app? <laughs> yeah. Is well. Selfish is an operating system. Uh, oh. Will you guys have an app for Selfish OS? I don't think it exists yet. Uh, yes. Is there a Selfish uh, version of the, uh, the COSI uh, application? No, not yet. Uh, at the moment, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, on Ubuntu. I suppose, that's it. I, I'm not a developer of this kind of things. So uh, you have another answer. For now, we have uh, a yeah, Debian package, and um, we are working on contribution to make more package with the need to maintain them afterward. <laughs> yes? Okay, so question is where is the data stored? So uh, COSI is based on CouchDB. So in the current version of COSI, all the data is put in CouchDB, and um, in the version which uh, in the next version we are putting back the file system parts on uh, the file system actually, so we can access the file. The question is: Is it on uh, your personal server or is it on a hosted server? Ah, okay, so it's uh, wherever you want. Because it's an open source software, so you can install it on a Raspberry Pi at home, or if you trust some hosting company, uh, you can put it there, and you can move it uh, if the need arise. Other question? Yes. No, it's a Debian package which is on uh, PPA. Well, not PPA, but uh, see. Yes. Come again? Um, the co uh, there's a Cozy uh, on the uh, Play Store, uh, but are you going to put it in F Droid? Oh. So we do have, um, we have tried, and uh, because it's based on Cordova, the, web, uh, the mobile application is based on Cordova. And we had some issue with the full build on FDroid. Um, we'd love to ask the mobile developer, but uh, that was the issue we had. But we would, we would love to, to put it on FDroid. Come again?
the JSON for each application you define a specific permit, permission that uh, they are not affected by the system. Yes. Uh, the co oh, sorry. Is there an uh, extensive permission for COSI? Um, for COSI? The idea is that every application defines the permission it needs for what it needs to access, the files, the contacts, the calendar, or so on. And, um, and the COSI platform enforces this permission, so the application can only access what it has the right to access. Yes? Uh, if I put my password into COSI for the application, where is that password stored, and is it encrypted? This password is encrypted. Oh, sorry. Uh, the question is that the password for the accounts uh, are they encrypted? So the password is encrypted on disk, but uh, it's a fact that to scrap from another website, we need to decrypt it in RAM. So um, when you log into your Cozy, a key is generated from your password, from your Cozy password, which allows decrypting while your Cozy is on. If you turn off the Raspberry Pi, it uh, stays encrypted on disk. Okay, so the question is how to use data from, uh, if I understand correctly, is how to use data from COSI from an app outside of COSI? Or so in the next version of COSI, we have an OAuth API to, well, an OAuth uh, flow, which allow external application to request access to data of the COSI. So same than when you install an application inside your COSI, which the same permission set and uh, ask for permission. And uh, so you can either use this API to bring data to your wiki application, or you can do this way, depending on what kind of interaction you want to do, you can bring data from the wiki to your cozy and put an app inside the cozy. It depends on your case, really. Yes? Um, the question was, how many connectors do we have? We have uh, 50 uh, connectors at the moment, uh, and it's growing. Not fast, but uh, it's growing. Maybe after this talk, I hope. <laughs> 100 new ones. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks, everyone. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. No, 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 there is only already one one cable which is here. Yeah. 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 Which talk are you giving? Three o'clock. Uh, yeah. Open WSP2. Hmm? Open WIS2. Okay, yeah. So I uh, have uh, Federico. Federico, yeah. <laughs> yeah, been, I don't think we've been connect, uh, communicating directly, you've been talking to Julia. Okay. We're three organizers, but only uh, two could uh, show up today. Oh, I guess the five and speaker will show up at some point. But you have something like ten minutes. Five, five, minutes. five minutes to set up. So. May I... Uh, Marco, l'ho collegato ma non si vede. Let's, uh, let's try again. It's a recording. It's a screencast and I'm going to talk over the screen. Yeah, guys, it's this a demonstration. <laughs> this is just a media file to play. Are you I'm here for the next talk, yeah? Yeah, sure. So we're just making a test for our next yeah. speaker, but uh, no problem. You're here. Uh, I, I think I'm fine. the next speaker. You are the next speaker. Yeah. This, this uh, is speaker up there. Ah. Yeah. Hi, nice to meet you. Uh, ah, yeah. Yeah. Car, right? I'm just testing my equipment because I'm a little bit worried about projection, but now we're done. You do the 
No, 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 now it's your turn. Yeah, okay. Okay. Are you test your equipment for the for your talk or? Yeah. Uh, just okay. test him. Just test him. And uh, yeah, he's going to leave it like, in two minutes. Yeah. And then, well, you have uh, uh, you have plenty of time. You have ten minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're good. No worries. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. For the instruction, you need to have a microphone. It needs to be on red and no, on green and green, so like that. So I just have to connect. Okay. And then I connect it to my. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. This Should we do this now? Yeah, you can do this now if you want. Yeah, then it's ready. So we're going to get the recording, but we're going to stop. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Uh, you have 20 minutes to talk. Yeah. Uh, five minutes for questions yeah. and five minutes for answer. Yeah. We need to be a bit strict on the time because okay. this is uh, the recording is based on that. Ah, oh, okay. So yeah. it uh, is a lot the work. Okay. After give, you give me a hint about time? Or yeah, there is it? one guy just here with ah, his okay. paper. Yeah. Uh, and you need to repeat the question uh, yeah, for the I recording. Yeah. So this doesn't make any sound, but this is only yeah, for okay, recording. Yeah, okay, sound here is no problem, I think, yeah. Yeah, this is nice. Uh, 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 this. Do you have information uh, about of my contact details for the, um, for the recording? Uh, Did you get the email from, from Monique? Yeah, because okay. the yes, talk she, she couldn't come. Yeah, she yeah. couldn't come, and I know we'll uh, do the talk, and uh, so the name is then is different for recording. I don't think we have updated your profile. It's possible. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, you just send. Oh, well, we can do this for the recording later. Yeah, yes, yes, that's yeah. no problem. Yeah. Uh, we will work after recording. Yeah. Uh, apparently, this is quite new. They gave us a little yeah. interface. We can do this kind of thing. Don't worry about that. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, thanks for coming. Uh, yeah. Because money couldn't. Yeah. We really want to have uh, your guys here. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, t uh, I do this talk in the same setup, different times, and um, we do a lot um, together because um, in Fly from Rheinland and Fodder Fine Frei Netzwerke we have a strong partnership, and then um, it's normal that uh, we. we um, we place some speakers at conferences when someone is ill or sick, and so it's no problem. It's very good. Yeah. It's, it's proved to be useful. Yeah. yeah. You can just put it a bit higher. Okay. You, you can. What's wrong with the screen? It's always getting cut. Yeah, I have to, I have to switch. Um, it's not because of him. Oh, okay. We are in for the launch talk. You need to change your resolution. It's okay on the video, but it's not okay. Here it's okay. It's now okay. Yeah, it's I, I need some some power. Can uh, take this or? Yes. Also, any yeah, problem? Yeah. I will start it again. Could you open a page which has something uh, on the left yes, side? Sure. So sure. No. Yeah. So? So you see it's getting bad. <laughs> Can I do everything? Uh, yes, leave it like that. You, you, you can, can see that it's getting better. Um, you can your... We don't know how to use it. Your... For France, I'll do it with the fish. Yes, it's great. Uh, for... Oh, well, we're going to do it. Yeah, yeah. But you... I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. Yeah, yeah. If there's not enough, I'll do it. I don't know how to do it. No. The device is only... Um, seeing one... One uh, screen. Oh, yeah, okay. That that doesn't det detect the um, the uh, presenter. Oh yeah, ah yeah, okay. Oh. You can't okay, get much, so I think. No, no. Yeah. Could I do every? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Start. Okay. Well, you have six more minutes. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I. He can't do anything. It happened to the previous guy. 
Yeah, yeah. It's uh, <laughs> so if you have the remote for the projector, you can just touch it. There is those things. Uh, so it is better. Yeah, uh, though you you have to switch to four four um four column four so yeah, okay. and it was uh, six sixteen uh, sixteen nine before. Okay. I think it's good. Yeah, that was the problem. Ah, uh, so it is better, yeah. Yeah. Five minutes left. Okay. Okay. Before we start, um, I'm here for Monique today. Uh, Monique is uh, ill and at home, and we all have to send best wishes to Monique uh, to Germany that next year she could come to Fostem and uh, hopefully present uh, this talk by herself, but I think I could give you the same input today and uh, we merged a little bit our presentation to, to have the same content and um, I think I could uh, present and uh, ins inspire you by the idea of the talk and the topic Access is a human, right? So, and in your name is not Monique. No, 
<laughs> so my name is Philip, but uh, it will be the first slide, and then I will give you a short overview about me. So when the door is closed, I think we no, no, that could. Thirty more seconds. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Strict, strict time plan here. Yeah.